Hello everyone, it's Alex Tchaikovsky. I live in China for more than 8 years and due to my work, I'm often on the go. Also, I'm a big coffee lover, so in today's video I want to tell you how to find a good coffee shop here in China. First, open your browser, Google and write your request. Ha! <laughs> no, not that easy. Beginner. When I just came to China, I would walk around my apartment and check some small alleys, streets that are not on my commute route and etc. The bicycle was one of the first things that I bought. It helped me a lot. I'd suggest you ride too, especially because nowadays you don't even need to buy one. Just use shared bikes and it's pretty easy. Maybe you will only find some chain stores in the beginning, but frankly, it's a good starting point anyway. And don't forget shopping malls. Big shops may be on the first floor, while smaller ones are hiding somewhere on underground floors. Intermediate. If you live in China for a while, probably know some people, just ask them. <laughs> Asking which ad groups if the topic is not very specific and rules are not very strict. Or if you see some, someone posting from a cafe or a restaurant on their moments, just ask where is it. Easy. One more tip here, not that obvious, but if you happen to find one okay coffee shop already, try to ask their barista to suggest you another good cafe. You can tell them that you just like to visit new cafes. That's a quite common hobby here, and I'm sure they will be glad to help you if they can. Young people often can speak some English, but you can take the initiative and gift them with a translated text on your smartphone. Advanced. And now we come to the most effective way. It's an app, and I don't get any money for mentioning it, sadly. But because of my work, I'm often going to unfamiliar areas. I use this app almost daily. And in fact, it is universal. Cafes, restaurants, bars, whatever you can find in there. It is a Chinese analog of TripAdvisor, which is called Dajong Dianping. Nearly any kind of business is represented here with fair feedback from the customer. As a coffee owner myself, I can tell shops do not have a lot of power over their profiles here. And I know what some of you may think. How do I suppose to use a Chinese app if I can't understand anything, right? Good question, but don't let it stop you. There are many icons, it's very intuitive and most of the time you don't get lost. And even if you do, here is a pro tip. Make a screenshot of the confusing page and then go to your WeChat, discover page, scan, translate. Boom! 90% of the time it will translate well enough to understand what to do next. I also use another translation app called Wangwu You Dao Cidian. It has an image translation feature too, as well as it does a great job translating sentences. So, back to Dajong Gameping. Once you install the app, make sure that it knows where you are here in upper left corner. Then press on this roasted chicken image and you will see food and beverage suggestions in your area. You can actually just stop right here and scroll. The app will recommend you some popular places around you. But we are looking for a cafe, right? So let's press on categories here. Now we have to learn some Chinese, just a little. The word coffee. In Chinese it's pretty close to English. Cafe, coffee, cafe. And here it is. Coffee shop. Cafe team. Perfect. Now you can open those profiles and check photos that other customers made. Food, environment, and often even menu. Also here you can see an average check per person. This is the address. If you tap on it, it will open the map. And also you can go to another navigation apps from here. Another important area of the main page is here. Many shops will have some sort of coupons. For example, the first three here will give you a discount on some selected drinks. The fourth one is a set for one person and the fifth is a set for couples. It says that you can choose two drinks out of three and one cake out of four options. Another popular kind of coupon that is usually used by restaurants looks like this. It means that for every 50 RMB that you spend, you will pay 47.5 RMB. But what to do if you are still not sure about the offer? Of course, another screenshot. 
and translate it the way I described before. Once you chose a coupon, try to confirm with the staff that you can use it now, summer time or date specific, and buy it using your WeChat or Alipay. You can do it in front of waiter or cashier, they will help you to navigate the app. After you paid for the coupon, you will see the QR code and the cashier will accept this as a payment. In cases when the coupon covers just a part of your bill, you will be asked to pay what's left separately. A word about rating in the app. In my experience, a good coffee shop will always have at least like 3.8 and usually, unless it's a newly opened, more than 4 stars. But try to make sure that the shop you are looking at isn't specialized in something else. What I mean is, for example, a good bakery may have a high rating because people like their bread, but the coffee will be just so-so. Like me, one time I was looking for a cafe, I found one with rating 4.8, it's a really high one, I was happy, I found what I'm looking for, but when I came there I realized it was a cat cafe. So they had drinks, but they were quite overpriced because you can you know, play with cats for free. And that's why they have high rating, because everyone likes cats. And for the same reason be prepared, the best cafes may have no food, just like at all, sometimes even no cakes or cookies. Also, the rating in this app doesn't work well when it comes to small old restaurants. People rarely leave comments about them unless, <laughs> unless they are angry. So even some really good noodle shops may only have like 3.4 on the Zhong Jinping. Oof, a lot of information. I hope the next time when you go out, you will find what you are looking for faster. Let me know what is your way to find a good cafe in China. And if you try to use any tips above, definitely share your experience, I would love to hear that. It was Alex Tchaikovsky, thanks for watching and have a delicious day!